Victor, can you tell me who's in this photo? Yeah, this is my mother's youngest sister, uh, Violet. But the, uh, the, her husband is also a relative of mine. It, he would be a, a cousin of my dad's. So the, I'm related to both of these, this family. And of course, this is the, their sons, their children, uh, Randy and uh, Pamela. So that's, uh, like I say, but <laughs> in our area, when you, people get married, you more likely are related to both sides of the family in many cases. And that's the case here. Because he is an Isaac, and uh, like I say, but his mother was a Breitling, which was my, her, his, my grandmother and his mother are sisters. <clears throat> no, I shouldn't say his mother, it'd be his grandmother. My grandmother and his grandmother are sisters. So that's Randall? No, Armand, right? Yeah, Armand. Okay. Armand Isaac. He's not in very good health at this. He's in got Alzheimer's right now, so he's not very... He tends to walk away from home. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, and in this photo, who, who do we have here? Well, this is the... When we... When I was confirmed at... The, we were the last class to be confirmed at St. Peter's Lutheran Church in 1955. The uh, people in the, in the here are, this is my cousin Duane, myself, and then our neighbor Leroy, a, uh, Ray, Leroy Reinhardt, Pastor Bush in the background. So who was that again from, from right here? Uh, from, that's Duane, me, and then Leroy Reinhardt. We How do you spell Reinhardt? R E I N H A R D. Okay. And who's standing behind? Pastor Bush. And is how do you spell Bush? B U S B U S H uh, C H I guess. <clears throat> I mean, if I have to look it up, I can <laughs> look it up. <laughs> and you were the the, the last three. We were the last. Yeah, the Thanks. last. But basically, after that, the church was closed. Okay. And then we went to town for, the, for church. Okay. <clears throat> St. Peter's Lutheran. Yes. Okay. And who do we have yeah, this is a funeral of my, my uncle Herbert. I never knew him. He died in 1939 of cancer. And my grandparents in the, in the background there. This was, this was the, they used to do this very much, you know, take pictures of people in, in caskets, this type of thing. Some people think this is pretty bizarre, but this is the way that things used to be done. Like I said, I never knew this fellow. He was only 19 when he died. He died of cancer, kidney cancer, I think it was. And you were how old? Was I was, uh, this was before I was born. This was born he was died in 1939. I was born in 41. Okay. And who else is in the photo? Well, it's my grandmother and grandpa. It would be Pauline and Jacob Knell. How do you spell Jacob? J A C K C. Well, B, I guess. Jacob. I mean, it could be there spelled. Are a couple of ways, can't, yeah, it could be spelled either in German or the English way, but it's C O V. And those are your father's parents? Yes. Do you know who took the photo? I have no idea. I'm sure some family member did. Oh, maybe not. Looks like it may have been a professional one. Oh, oh brown photo service. <laughs> well, that's that was the local. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And what is what do we have in this? This photo? is my uh, my eight of grandparents' home. This was about two miles west of our, our farm. This was the Reinald and Pauline Adolf farm home. How do you spell Reinald? R E I N H A O L E. So Reinhold and Pauline Hall? Uh, Adolf, yeah. Adolf, okay. <clears throat> this was taken in, according it says here, what is it? Whoops, excuse me. 59 or whatever, so this. So this was two, about two miles from your farmhouse that your family was Yes, now. yeah. Okay. To the west they were. And 
photo says it's dated, what, May 10th, 1950? Yeah, I, again, I have no idea who took it. Mm -hmm. What, can, what do you remember about this house? They had uh, on the on the on the east side there. They they had uh, hops, you know, as a, for a, a, that grew up on the side. You know, that uh, so that was kind of interesting, kind of different for for because you don't see that very often. Or, and, uh, so that was kind of different. Other than that, it was just a typical farm house. <laughs> Did you spend a lot of time there? Uh, not, well, I sp we spent, you know, visiting the grandparents and for like say, I, whenever my parents would go out overnight somewhere, we ended up spending the night with them. So we spent some time, you know, some time with them. They raised sheep, so we did, you know, sometimes we'd get a lamb or something like that, an orphan lamb, so that was kind of different. And that pony on that, that, uh, on that can there, that's a picture of Shorty, that used to be Grandpa Adolf's horse, and then we bought it from him. <laughs> <clears throat> Did he end up being a pet? Well, he was 21 years old by the time we got him, so yeah, he was pretty much a pet. He knew more than we did as far as riding. <laughs> there we are as pretty young kids. <laughs> and who that, is this? This is, uh, well, that's... Uh, um, I'm guessing my sister, myself, and then my younger brother, Marvin. As you can see, we're not very old, so I had to kind of think. He was born in 1945, so he's the youngest there. And where was this taken? This was taken to the south of our house. What ages were you in this photo? Well, I had to sort of figure it out. I guess, like I say, my brother was born in 45. I don't know, what is he, three, four years old there? I don't think he's any older than that. The rest of you just had a kind of <laughs> I figure I was born 41. She was born 43. <clears throat> you sort of had to figure it out. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't recall myself. <laughs> Somebody cut something off of that one, it looks like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, this is my mother and her sister, Ida. And uh, <laughs> this is uh, taken long before my time, too. <clears throat> was this taken here in North Dakota? Yes, I'm sure it was taken in the, probably in the backyard of that farmhouse that you see here. This. The Adolf farmhouse? Yeah, you know, yeah. Which one's your mother and which one is her sister? Well, this would be be Hertha here and then Ida. Okay. Because my mother's the oldest. Okay. I neglected to ask. <clears throat> All right, and in this photo, what yeah, do we have? This was, was taken again. I was home after I got home from the uh, from Fort Dix. So this was taken in uh, well, it's sixty-two. It says there. And I'm sure it was. This was mother would have been, I think, January or February. I got home for two weeks' leave, and then I, we had all taken lessons when we were in high school. I, I accordion, my sister piano, and my one brother on guitar, and the other one on mandolin. So we were basically showing off a little bit here. What it looked like as musicians. Don't think we, oh we may have played together a little bit, but not that was not a formal band we ever had. <clears throat> okay, and from left to right. Who do we have? Oh, the, myself there. My You're sister. playing the accordion. I'm playing the accordion, yes. That accordion, by the way, is up at, at the NDSU, by the way. Yeah. Michael has it. Okay. <clears throat> That's my sister, Eileen. My brother, Marvin. Uh, Gary. And then my brother, Marvin. So Gary and then Marvin. Right. Gary's the youngest. Eileen was on the piano. Right. And Gary was what? Is that the mandolin? Yes. And Marvin was on the guitar. Mm-hmm. Was it pretty often that you you four would play? Most of the time, most of the time we played 
of individually. I don't think we ever played as a group. My Myron did play with a band later on when he was in Jamestown, so I know he, he did play with you know professional bands. None of us did. I I remember when I first came to Fargo. I think I we was part of the I was in the AG, you know, the AG department, so I was part of the FFA. So I remember we went down to Kenmore. I think I performed down there. That was probably the only time I ever performed anywhere else than for myself. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you remember who took this photo? Um, probably mom or dad. I don't think. I don't. I'm not sure. So you're all musically inclined, then, right? Well, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <clears throat> Did you learn from your parents? Or? No, we had. We had. Uh, there was a local teacher that uh, was very musical, and her family had gave music lessons. And so we took lessons from, from them, okay. from her and her husband. This is this, that same period when I, I, I'm in my uniform there. I'm, in fact, I'm on my way to get on, go to uh, Fort Dix, New Jersey here. And we were, this picture was taken in, in, on uh, Almond and uh, Violet's home, I think, the basement there. That's because uh, there you see me and then, yeah, it's just my family, our family there. Can you uh, tell me who's in the photo from left to right? Well, it's, it's myself, and then uh, then Marvin, in the back, Dad, Mom, and Eileen, and then sitting on the floor there, my brother, Gary. Was this the last family photo before you came back then? Yeah, this was the, the I think this was, was taken the morning that when I took off for 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 Dicks. So 1961. 62, 1962. actually. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Can you tell me what was going on in this photo? Well, I think I think this was probably taken at the same time uh, period when we were ha having that family reunion in 1990. I'm sure this one that was taken. The bottom picture there that is a uh, Grandma Adolph with her family. And can you name? Well, from the, from the, the right, that's Violet, Clarence, Frida, wait a minute, yeah, and Irvin, Ida, and my mother, Hertha. Hertha? Hertha. Hertha. Yeah. H -E that was an H, okay. Yeah, H-E-R-T-H. T-H-A? Just th. Okay. Yeah, I know it is a. I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and who's who's here at the bottom? That's my grandmother, Pauline Adolf. Okay. Her husband had passed on by that time. He had died of, I think, lung cancer. So we have. I want to make sure we have this right. We have Violet. Mm -hmm. Clarence. Yeah. Frida. Irvin. Irvin. Ida. And Hertha. And. Pauline, yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and what year do you, do you say that was? Well, I'm sure it was 1990, yeah. Uh, okay. Or thereabouts. Okay. Okay, can you tell me what was uh, the occasion for the Well, the, again, I'm sure this was part of that family reunion thing. We were just, this was taken, I'm sure, at City, uh, Hayes and City Hall there in 1990 there. This was our whole family, as far as I can see. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna have you start at the bottom. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to see, you know, these kids I don't recognize anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, it must be Tina, I think. That's my sister's. No, no. Yeah, I guess Tina. Uh, boy, it's been a long time since I see these kids this young. In our family, that she. Well, they're the grandkids, whatever. <laughs> That's Lowell uh, here. On this side, Lowell, Kelly. Look 
got to be Dara and uh, who's that girl? <laughs> I got a blank here. I don't know. <laughs> Well, do we want to start at the top? Okay, well, I recognize those, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can see myself mm -hmm. and my brother Gary, his wife, uh, Bertha. His wife is Bertha? Bertha, yeah. Is but she likes to go by Bert. Mrs. Bertha? Yeah. Okay. And, uh... And who is she holding? That's what I'm trying to think, figure <laughs> out here. Oh, I don't, don't, don't recall what the, what the baby was, would have been. That had to be... No, I guess I'm not... I, I, I've, again, I'm not sure. Okay, and then that's Marvin. Okay. And then his wife in front of him, Ruth. My sister, Elaine, and then her husband, Ron Muth. <coughs> Ronald Muth. Muth, how do you spell that? M U T H. Okay. Dad and mom in the middle there. What were your parents' names? Hertha and, uh, Hertha and uh, Traugut. <laughs> Dad has, I got his name from a middle name. <laughs> and how do you spell his name? T R A U G O T T. G U T T? G O T T. G O T T, okay. <laughs> All right, and now the kids? Well, that's why I'm still. I, I, <laughs> This is Lyle over here. Okay. L Y L E. L yeah. Okay. Kelly K down here. Yes. And then then, then it's got to be Dara. D A R A. Yeah. And then Tina and I, that young one down the smallest mm -hmm. one down there, and the baby I, I have a, I can't think of. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of them. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Do you want that one? Yeah. Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can pull that, I think. Yeah. Just pull it out. That's a four-generation picture there. Grandma Pauline, Tina, her grand grandchild, her uh, grand uh, daughter okay. there, and then my mother in the back, and my sister Eileen. Okay, so Tina. <clears throat> okay. And where was this? Was this also at the reunion? Yes. Yeah. So that's Tina here. Mm -hmm. I just, just, why am I drawing a blank on that child? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's and who my, is this in the photo? This is my uh, great grandmother on my dad's side, Caroline Strobel is her maiden name, and Breitling is their married name. This family just never seemed to be able to settle down. They came to f from Germany, from South Russia. They came to settled in Scotland, South Dakota. Spent some time there. Then they, then they came to Mercer County, Hayden. Then they went to Burlington, Colorado. And then they came back to Hayden. 
And then they went to Scott, uh, to, uh, uh, to Nebraska. I think her husband died at Hayden, but then, then she moved to, she was in, at, in Nebraska for a while. Then she married at least twice, went out to California, I believe, and then came back and uh, finally died at Hazen. <laughs> she moved around a lot. Then, oh, yeah, she? these people, <laughs> you can imagine how they <laughs> moved around. Of course, they every time they moved, you know, children ended up staying, marrying, and staying in those areas, so they, you'll find th their families all over the place. Because mm -hmm. right. there's families from the, they see out in, 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 in uh, Illinois, in uh, Idaho, California, I believe, Montana, North Dakota, uh, Colorado, so they're all over the place, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. I think there's probably some that are Kansas, whatever that is, down here. Area. Big German area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>